Hello, my loves. Welcome to chapter four. We are starting um, by introduction what I mean by transformation. So we're talking about rigid transformations first, and then we're going to deep dive into translation specifically. So a rigid transformation, rigid, tough, hard, is a um, transformation that is a on the plane preserves, keeps the distance between every pair of points, and angle measures are off also preserved. Basically, when you do a rigid transformation, the size and the shape of a figure do not change. All right, for translations, reflections, and rotations, these are all types of transformations. I have a card sort that you do in class to kind of mess with them. So let me just show you a couple of them on the Desmos. This is a transformation. So that one is a translation, okay? That one is a translation. These are not translations. So let's see, that one is gonna be a reflection and the bottom one is a rotation. So I wanted you in your own words to say what these were. So a translation, I call it a slide. You could scoot it. A reflection is a mirror across a line, and a rotation is a spin, okay? So the new shapes are called the image. When you have a new shape, it's called an image. So all of these black shapes are my, that's my pre-image, and then I have an image is the thing after it. So the image is the OG, um, and the, or, or no, the image is the new one. The OG is called the pre-image. And we use a prime to notate it. So if I have a shape that I scooch over, let's say this is A, B, C, um, and then the new one is A prime, C prime, and B prime. So prime, is the new one. It goes with the image. All right, so now we're gonna deep dive into translations. Remember, translations are my slides. So we're gonna slide through some of these translations with my Desmos. Those are translations, these are not translations. We did these in our own words. Okay, great. So here, Ariel was asked to translate a green vector along the orange arrow labeled PR. So PR, so let's see if I check this translation. This is where all my points would need to show up, right? So we went over some and down some. So we did not translate all of those points over. It's a slide. And if you look, let's see, this slide is telling me to go one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three, four down. So that's gonna be, the vector for this example is five to the right and four down, x, y. So that would be x plus five, y minus four which means I would need to put these to go, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So the A is in the right place, but it looks like my F and my E were too far away. Over five, down four. There we go. Now we have the exact same size and shape. It's just gone over five and down four. All right, my next one, um, the green image. Okay, so this is gonna be to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, left seven, down, one, two, three, four. So that is gonna end up being a negative seven and a negative four, which is the rule, negative seven, y minus four, okay? So let's make sure we've done that. From green, I'm just gonna count, let's see, I'm just gonna start at F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So that means F needs to be right here. I'm gonna go ahead and scooch E over so it doesn't get my way. 
and then everything else needs to match up with it. And if you wanna count every single point over seven down four, that's fine. Just make sure the shape looks exactly the same every single time. So over seven, down four, beautiful. Here, you get to make your own shape. So we just, you know, whatever you want it to look like. I don't care. And then it's gonna translate. So I want it to translate up and over. I'm gonna make it a better shape so it fits better. I'm just having fun with this at this point. Next. And then we're gonna translate it, right? So what did I do? Up two, over two. So let's see, D is gonna go up two, over two. So D, up two, over two. E needs to go up two, over two. So E needs to end up right here. F, up two, over two. So F needs to end up right there. Um, A, up two, over two. So A needs to be here. B, up two, over two. B needs to be right there. And C, up two, over two. C needs to be right there. Mm, that doesn't look right. Something's not right. Now that looks like the exact same shape. Let's see. Up two over two. Did I get them right? Uh oh, I messed up some. Okay, so that was the starting E. Oop, I went over too many. And then, what was the other one I messed up? The B maybe? B straight up from A. One, two, three, that makes sense. The D? Yeah, let's try now. Oh no, I still haven't gotten it right. It's probably because they're on top of each other, so I'm having a hard time. Oh, my C's in the wrong place. Okay, so C and D are in the wrong place. Up two, over two. But you see what we're doing here? Just up two, over two. Because that was how I made the vector. There we go, finally got it. Love it, love it, love it. So mine was up two, over two, over two, up two, so plus two, plus two. Gorgeous, you created your own. So in summary, a translation is a geometric transformation in which we move every point on a figure the same distance in the same direction without changing the size, shape, or orientation. Okay, so one way you can see this is with a vector, right? So if you see the little arrows down here, this A tells me how far to go on my X, B tells me how far to go on my Y. Sometimes you're also gonna see a translation as X, Y, and then it's gonna be like X plus a number or minus a number, and y minus a number, right? Like you might also see a translation with that plus minus, kind of like we did up here. Um, and then write down what is happening in this translation. So we're gonna go right four and down one, right? Negative is down, um, positive is to the right. But in this one, we're gonna go left three and up two. So look at your positives and your negatives. It's always, always, always gonna be X comma Y. So you should be okay there. All right, graph the image of each given the translations. Okay, so what we need to do is this is over three, up two. So over one, two, three, up one, two. Let's see, that's gonna be B. So that's B prime. So this guy's A, B, C, so B prime is right there. And I can also check my work. Did I add three and add two here? So it should end up at two, four, two, uh-oh. No, I did not. See, look at us checking our work. Over three, one, I gotta get rid of this so it's not in my way. So if that's B. One, two, three, up, two. There it goes. That's B prime. So B should be 
at negative, or B prime should be at two, four. All right, C or A, let's see, let's do A first. I'm adding, so it should end up at negative six, five. So over three, one, two, three, up one, two. Is that negative six? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Great. A prime. And C should end up at negative three, positive one. Over one, two, three, up one, two. Gorgeous. C prime. And my new shape is the exact same triangle. It has just been scooched over three, up two. Marvelous, my dears. So same idea, I have X, Y, Z, but I just gave it to you in a different form so you'd see a different form. So this is gonna be down, no, left two, up five. Okay, so minus two, up five. Um, so negative five, three is W, so down, or left, one, two, one, up, one, two, three, four, five. W prime is going to be negative seven, eight, down two, up five. So negative two, three is right here. That's the X, left two, up, one, two, three, four, five. There's my x prime at negative four, eight. And y is right here, so we're gonna go over one, two, up one, two, three, four, five. y prime is gonna be negative two, five, at, what is that, negative one, two, mm-hmm. And then it should be the exact same triangle. Come on. Just scooched. We went left two, up five. Write the rule and the vector for these shown below. Okay, so this one's my first one. This one's my second one. So what happened here? So the rule is going to be x plus or minus, y plus or minus. So, do, 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 over one, two, three, four, down one, okay, so I'm gonna write a four so I don't forget it. One, two, three, down three. So x plus four, y minus three is my rule. And then my vector then is gonna be to translate four, negative three. Marvelous. This one, okay, prime is the second one, right? So this one's my first one. The rule is gonna be an x, y value. So, and then the vector is gonna be a translation. So over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to go from A to A. So that was down seven. So this should be minus eight, y minus seven. Negative eight, negative seven. Double check it just to make sure. Let's go D to D, D to D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay, that's what happened every time. We're good, we went over eight and down seven. I hope that that makes sense. Um, match each set of coordinates from its pre-image to its image after applying the translation. So you're gonna have to, each one of these is a different figure, and then that translation happened to it, right? So like, is it this, then this, you see what I'm saying? Um, do it to these. Without even drawing it, you can figure out what their new points are gonna be. Graph the pre-image and the image. I will go ahead and graph that image for you so that you don't have to do it. Um, and then just graph the pre-image. And then write their notation and the rule for both of you. Hope that makes sense. Good luck.